Hi everybody, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing good today. Today, we are going to be talking about the famous and well-renowned scientist known as Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is known as a physicist who had groundbreaking work. He revolutionized the 20th century. After Isaac Newton discovered gravity, Einstein started putting his theories out there, such as Einstein's impossible equation, which is still unsolved. Einstein was a physicist who made the theory of atoms existing. In fact, he's actually a physicist from Germany. Being a German physicist, he has German passport as usual. But he also has many other passports, such as Swiss and a few other passports, even American actually. So, as you can see, he had a lot of other passports and country ship. He was not really known for his physics and science capabilities. He invented, he, he made the theory of atoms, everything made of atoms existing, the theory of relativity, everything like that. Einstein was a brilliant, smart guy. He had an IQ, as we all know, over 200. His brain was slightly bigger than the, a woman's brain, however, slightly smaller than the average man's brain. Quite shocking. How, but this doesn't mean he's dumb. In fact, he's considered one of the smartest people out there. Einstein is so intelligent, in fact, that he made impossible equations and discovered uh, things that if without him, we probably wouldn't even know if we, oh, we were made of atoms. We probably wouldn't know anything. Now, Einstein was also forced in Germany. People didn't li uh, really like him that much. So he was forced to in nuclear weaponry. Being a physicist and discovering atoms, he was quite good since, you know, nuclear bombs atoms, all that stuff. He was a brilliant physicist. I emphasize brilliant because that's just how smart he is. He's discovered multiple things. He's, he has a family as well. You can search it more into that um, on Google. I won't, uh, I won't linger on his family too much, but he had a simple, but he had a simple life. Nothing too fancy. Being a physicist though, he he had. Uh, he was as a. He did make a good amount of money. He discovered many things, a lot, a lot of things. Einstein's birthday is actually the same as the as the mathematical uh, number pi. Pi's value is three point one four, and Einstein's birthday is March fourteenth. Was also born in eighteen seventy nine. When Albert Einstein was just a child, his dad gifted him a compass. And he loved it. The he loved. Uh, he was so interested by what by the magnets in the compass that he loved. Uh, that he fell in love with physics. Einstein actually hated his discipline teacher because she was so mean to him. He attended a grammar school and left at the age of fifteen. He struggled with subjects such as language, but excelled at maths, physics, and philosophy. Albert Einstein. Before he became a physicist, he was actually a teacher. Him being a teacher was his first job. After failing to find work as a math and physics teacher, he, he got out a degree, he, he got a PhD in physics. And after that, he started to publish four uh, groundbreaking in papers. That year was his year of miracles, as he was called. It is, that year was actually 1905. He went on to win a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. The reason he won the, uh, the Nobel Prize is because of his explanation of photoelectric effect. Until Albert Einstein, the day of his death, was working on his theories until age 76. It was 1955 at that time of the year. Albert Einstein wasn't that well liked by his teachers. His gym teacher even said to him, nothing will ever come out of him. Well, let's see where he turned out now. At five years old, Albert Einstein actually learned how to play the violin. His mother signed him up for classes, but he didn't really like it that much. Only after discovering Mozart's piece, he started getting interested into it and started playing it until his old days. Albert Einstein, amazingly, at a young age, at 16 years old, published his scientific papers. It was a very incredible time. After university, Albert Einstein was rejected from any academic position that he applied for. Charlie Chaplin and Albert Einstein 
who are actually great friends. Charlie Chaplin being one of, of cinema's most remembered actors. He was a comedic actor. And Albert Einstein, a science physicist. You know, you'd think these two wouldn't be friends. But they actually had quite a close connections. He invited him and his wife, Elsa Einstein, to come up to his, his stay, uh, to come up to a show known as City of Lights. Here, he famously told Einstein that the people applaud me because they don't they know me. But people applaud you because no one understands you. Albert Einstein, being the physicist that we all know him, was actually also working on nuclear bombs or, or atomic bombs. But however, later he knew that these bombs were not good and he opposed them. Einstein, who was a physicist, could have actually become a president as well. He could have become the president of Israel as he was offered the position. However, he declined due to his near end of his life in 1952 and his declining health and because he didn't know how to handle the people. So he declined the option. Albert Einstein, in fact, did not believe in black holes. Check out my video about black holes, by the way. He believed that nothing of such gravitational force can ever exist that not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, cannot escape from. Um, however, on the contrary, he did believe in wormholes. Wormholes are a kind, kind of distortion in time and space which allows you to travel from one place to another. So, uh, incidents like this has happened in the past before, famously of one pilot who, who was flying and encountered might have encountered a wormhole. No one knows the real answer, but he did something like teleport, but not exactly. That's what at least the documents say. After his death in 1955, a pathologist named Thomas Harvey actually wanted to dissect and harvest Einstein's brain. He wanted to know the anatomical wonders of Einstein and how oh, geni uh, and genius. After getting permission from his son, he did this and preserved Einstein's brain to find out how atomical geniuses and to use the brain for scientific research. Einstein, being a physicist, all brilliant and everything, actually loved outdoor activities such as sailing. He loved sailing, even though he was never good at it. He had to be, he was, uh, he signed and, and was, had to be rescued multiple times. Okay, I think that's all for today. I hope everyone enjoys the video. I hope everyone smashes the like button and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're always notified when there's a new video. Bye!